uh, suffer severe burns in Death Valley after losing their flip flops. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, a Belgian tourist suffered third degree burns on his feet during a visit to Death Valley National Park over the weekend. According to the National Park Service, the 42 year old man was taking a walk on the sand dunes. What a weakling. What a, who gets burned in sand Not dunes? Not the brightest, though. Like, why would you go to Death Valley without shoes on? Yeah, like, there's a lot going on for this poor, stupid Sanofu, man. Yeah. Uh, he walked on the sand dunes and he lost his flip flops. The air temperature at the time was around 123 degrees. They say, Jesus, what a dopey. And the ground temperature would have been much hotter. Yeah, much hotter, right? Yeah, we learned this about walking dogs during the day. Right. A Death Valley National Park ranger told the Los Angeles Times that the ground temperature can reach 170 to 180 degrees, <laughs> and has even been known to get as high as 200 degrees. Bro. Uh, they say the skin melted off his foot. Yikes. Oh, and then you got all that sand in there too. That and the open wound and deep ugh. exfoliant. Deep exfoliant. Yeah. Don't touch that with exfoliant. Not for <laughs> Not weeks. Now. No. Yeah. Oof. The man's family called for help and other park. Why didn't he just sit down? Why did he keep staying on his feet? Are you afraid he was going to lose the skin on his hands? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I guess so. Or other places. Now they're going to have to take the skin from his ass and put yeah. it on his feet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the official said he suffered full thickness burns on his feet and was in significant pain. Uh, but due to the extreme heat in the area, a helicopter was unable to fly and land safely to get him out of there. Instead, a ground ambulance rushed to the man, uh, and got him to a higher elevation where temperatures were slightly cooler. So what they do, just drop him off there. Here, buddy, walk <laughs> yeah, here. You can rest fine. here. Why yeah. didn't somebody just bring him some shoes? I guess at that point, your feet are bloody and torn up. And right. Shoes yeah. aren't going to be a good idea either. Yeah, OnlyFans won't even pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruined yeah. his foot picks career. Definitely. Unless, uh, you know what? There's probably some people who are into that. Uh, maybe. California. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the Mustafa line from Austin Powers, which I watched. Over. <laughs> it's hot down here. <laughs> I'm severely badly burned. <laughs> you shot me. You shot me right in the arm. Sounds like jerky boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I right? love them. Officials urge visitors to take necessary precautions when exploring Death Valley, which is... Uh, I mean, it's called Death Valley. Duh. Yeah, right. It's the driest, lowest, and hottest of all the nation's parks. Rangers recommend visitors stay within 10 minutes of an air-conditioned vehicle, <laughs> drink lots of water, yeah. eat salty snacks, and wear sunscreen and appropriate clothing. Do not hike after 10 a.m. Boy, that's the... Not a great window. Yeah, right. And wear shoes always. Don't ever take your shoes off. Yeah. How did he get so far away from his shoes that he couldn't find them again once it started getting hot? I mean, you pretty much know the ground is very hot mm -mm -mm. the instant you step on it. So how did he get that far away from his shoes? Drugs. Possibly. I'm just saying they do that cr crazy stuff. What is it? Ayahuasca? That's yeah, it. Sure. Yeah, sure. Ayahuasca. Was like, oh, a little bit sun, of peyote in there. Yeah. To the sun. <laughs> and like he left everything dopey. Then he burned himself. Uh, uh, I think Aaron Rodgers would argue with you about the ayahuasca experience there, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's it's, exactly how it happened. It hits different for right? people. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what a story. Yeah. We got a couple more. We're going to bring it back local here. Candidates using GPS trackers to recover stolen campaign signs in really? St. John's County. Yeah. This is a very interesting story. 